I haven't been home in nearly a year, and that isn't to say I haven't seen my parents, because I have and we talk every day. But this home isn't literally my home. I guess when I say home, I mean I went to see my parents. They are my home. Because I didn't grow up in this town, and I have no attachment to it, and so I thought this was the perfect setting to actually gain some clarity, as I felt like I've been sinking very recently. This couldn't be described better than this sign I saw on the beach, but I just felt like I needed to get some literal distance from my problems in order to understand how small they actually are. I have this problem, as I know many others do, where I am very hard on myself. And this means that sometimes I feel like I'm failing when in fact I'm thriving. <laughs> Some say it's imposter syndrome and others simply say it's the fear of not being good enough. Whatever it's called, it felt like it was consuming me in the last month. So I got away and I walked on the beach and these are the thoughts that occur to me. We often forget to enjoy what we are doing in the moment. I've done some pretty cool stuff recently and I feel like I didn't even get a chance to acknowledge it because I was already on the next thing trying to be the absolute best I can be and not crumble under the pressure I felt I was under. The pressure I felt from the judgement of my peers or old friends or even family. It felt like I either had to be doing amazing or not doing it at all. But that was it. There is no pressure other than what I have placed on myself. And I needed to remember that I was totally justified in where I am right now in my life. Luckily for me, I have my parents, Phil, Bing and Lily, to remind me to believe in myself. Good friends and family will do that for you. They will help you grow and become stronger. I looked around me on my walk and I saw a lot of new families with so many possibilities. And I'd forgotten that I was once one of them. I forgot that dreaming big isn't a bad thing. And I forgot why I did that as well. Much like the sun, those negative feelings have now passed. And as I watched the rain pour over the sea in the distance, I remembered one simple thing. I am good enough. I love what I do, and I have worked so damn hard to get where I am. I just needed reminding, and a simple walk on the beach.